My name is Caroline Preston, and I've created a novel called The Scrapbook of Frankie Pratt. People always ask me how I came up with the idea for making a novel in the form of a vintage scrapbook. And the answer is that this idea has been 40 years in the making. I've always loved antique scrapbooks. When I was a little girl, I used to spend hours looking through my grandmother's scrapbook, her flapper scrapbook from Paris, and my mother's scrapbook from growing up in the 1930s and 40s. The book begins in 1920 when we meet Frankie Pratt. She's 18 years old. She just graduated from high school. And for her graduation present, she gets a, a blank scrapbook from her mother. And she finds her father's 1918 Corona portable typewriter. And Frankie wants to be a writer. And so she starts to create the story of her life. In making this book, I had to hunt down and buy every single item that Frankie Pratt would put in her scrapbook. I found items in antique stores here in Virginia, in Chicago, in New York, in Mississippi. In all, I bought over 600 pieces of 1920s vintage ephemera, and that's a lot of stuff. Some of the favorite items I got for this for the scrapbook of Frankie Pratt is a Warren Harding campaign button, a deck of gypsy fortune telling cards, a 1920s dollar bill, a war medal from the Somme, a Bakelite bracelet, and an Emerson record, a pair of women's driving glasses, Valentine's, a beaded flapper purse and a cigarette holder, a spoon from an automat, ads for a portable radio, Coney Island tickets. I think I'm envious of Frankie Pratt, and that's why I created her scrapbook, because I have always wanted to live back in the 1920s myself. I wanted to, I wanted to live in Greenwich Village. I wanted to live in Paris and walk those streets and go to those movies and drive in those cars and cross the, the, cross the Atlantic on one of the grand ocean liners. And so in creating that, this book and this scrapbook, in a way, I'm... I'm getting a chance to do some wonderful time travel myself.